Hello, welcome to Food Handler Training. Thank you for being able to join us today. My name is Dick Peckerson and I'm the Chief of Environmental Health and all my haters can blow me. Today we're going to present a short training program that is geared towards you, bitch ass health inspector boy. We plan to present all the basic bitch rules and principles that you should be familiar with before I have to fire your dumb ass. Inspector boy, you are the first line of defense against the injustices, crimes, and forces of evil that plague the health inspection world to protect the health and safety of the public. As you view this video, try to focus on what things are acceptable and which ones are not. Far too many lives have been lost due to an overlooked barrel of expired cheeses. I believe that the most effective way to become a legendary health inspector is to watch a legendary health inspector. And that's why I reached out to my best and brightest, Inspector Ron, to come on by and show you how it's done. He should be here any second now. He's a real tough some bitch. Take it away, Ron. Oh God, this stuff stinks. Yeah, hello, I'm Inspector Ron here to do your regular city health inspection. Now, are you the only one who works at this filthy place or? Uh, no, usually I work with Jose, but he's out sick. You know, he was coughing up a storm the other day. I think he got that coronavirus. Now they're not sure if he's gonna make it. Okay, is that why you're not wearing gloves? I guess so. I guess so. What else you got over here? Oh, well, I'm just over here, just probing all the chicken vaginas, making sure they're nice and hot. Very good. I assume you sanitize that properly before sticking it in the meat? Uh, oops, I, I usually do. Well, that's gonna go ahead and be your first violation of the day right there. Someone could die. And over here, you just have a straw sitting here. Someone could trip over this and choke on or something. Okay. Uh, well, let's see here. Uh, oh, got a violation over here. Bingo. Straight ahead. See that? Garbage can wide open. Someone could fall right in there and choke on that plastic bag. Okay. So do you always just leave stuff lying around like that? Well, we're short-staffed, so... Sounds to me like you're short-staffed in your brain. Are you eating all the food around here, getting fat, or are you pregnant? Because I can't really tell. Well, you know, me and my husband, we've been trying. Employees are not allowed to wear wedding rings. Oh, okay. That's gonna be another violation. Wearing a wedding ring in the workplace reminds other employees that are single that they do not have any love in their life and are terribly lonely, and it also reminds them that you may be handling someone's genitals late at night, which would also be a violation. Okay, so many violations, almost got you shut down. Let's see if we can't, uh, okay, well, you got yourself an apron on and your hair's tied nice and taut in the back. You know, it's just like little Wayne said, long hair don't care as long as shawty got it tied up, then daddy can ride all night long and the same goes for the kitchen. You also want your hair tied back just to make sure it doesn't get in the food. Wow, would you look at that? You guys got all the classic flavors of milk. You got chocolate, strawberry, and Baja Blast. Unfortunately, they're all labeled as expired, so that's gonna be a big violation. Okay. People can die drinking that stuff. Hey, hey you, hey you, stop right there. Yeah, you, come back here. Well, God damn it, if it ain't Dirty Dan. I thought I told y'all to fire him last time I was here. Great, now it smells like a mixture of reefer and ass, which is gonna affect the taste of the food. And he left the back door open. Great, and all the trash cans are open. No wonder why he's always coming in here. He loves living in trash cans. Dirty Dan is a no good son of a bitch who's been making my job a living hell since the first day I started. He's a filthy rat bastard who has no respect for food, health, and safety. Oh, hey there, Jay. What's uh, doing in there? Oh, God, no, not today, Ron. I can't have you doing this to me today. I just got the news that Jose got sick and died, and now I got refrigerator duty, and I trust me, I'm doing everything I gotta do. Everything's going exactly where it's supposed to go. I can't have you on my ass today. Just give me a break. Those are expired, by the way. Huh? Just because an employee is having a bad day does not give them the right to completely disregard food health safety precautions. In this line of work, many others' lives are on the line. Just because you're mourning the loss of a fellow employee doesn't give you the right to completely phone in the job and serve someone expired produce. Okay, now what are you doing? Uh, gee, Ron, please, come on, man. I got a system here. You're always throwing me off. I'm putting the produce away where it's supposed to yeah, go. Yeah, well, you're not wearing gloves either. Uh, gee, come on, Ron. I hate wearing gloves. They make my head so sweaty. Sweaty hands are actually the number one reason why employees are supposed to wear gloves in the workplace. Who wants to bite into an apple and get a big, sweaty, salty surprise right on their lips? And we tend to find it's always the overweight or obese employees that have the sweatiest of hands, so we advise that they wear gloves more often. Oh, God. God, Jay, what? what the hell is that sitting back there in that huh? fridge? I see a whole raw chicken just sitting out here in the open. Oh, when it comes to the meats, a chicken is like a ticking time bomb. You only have a few minutes to cook, prep, and serve it before it goes bad. Next thing you know, you got bugs growing out of it, and it starts forming a gross, gelatinous goo. 
And not only is you got raw chicken out, but Jay, just down here, you got boxes just sitting yeah. there in the walkway. Yeah. Well, that box is mine because I'm in the middle of moving right now, you know? So. Jay, you can't just have boxes and stuff here in the fridge area. You know, people need to be able to walk through here. Well, yeah, but the box down here is really important. It's all my tax receipts. This stuff's really important to me. Now, Jay, I see you got some food over here. And I tell you the truth, I'm not even quite sure what the hell that stuff is, but it all needs expiration okay. dates written on them. You know what, Jay? I tell you what, I'm going to take my thermometer out and poke that chicken you got over there. Go ahead. I was going to have that for lunch. Yeah, before you do that, let me just go ahead and sanitize this, poke it, and make sure it's good for human consumption. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Thermometer says, this is bird is room temperature. Jay, what the hell are you doing? Well, I had to work in here with the door open because it was so cold. Should you find yourself in the presence of food that is questionable in temperature, do not be afraid to use your properly sanitized thermometer. I cannot emphasize just how important it is to properly sanitize these things because we discovered that several people were using these in their mouths and in their butts testing themselves for coronavirus. <laughs> Dirty Dan, you rat bastard, you've done it again. What the hell you think you're doing eating out of that sink? The other employees need to use that to wash their hands. <laughs> Oftentimes, employees will seek companionship while enjoying their lunch, but that's strictly against the rules and would cause for violation. That's why I eat alone in my car. Okay, let's see here now. Oh, come. Oh, Dirty Dan. God damn it, Dirty Dan. You, you motherfucker. Look at you. You're all covered in shit. You're tracking in mud. Your hands are filthy. You fucking, you fat, you fat fucker. Why don't you get the f no. fuck out of here, you piece of shit? Never hesitate to go below the belt when it comes to safety. If a dirty motherfucker's trying to step up and act wild, then so be it. I'll put him in his place. We ain't out here trying to watch out for people's feelings, folks. Sanitation comes before feelings, which has always been the health inspector's code of honor. Dirty Dan, careful with that bird. You got the... Hey, what the fuck are you... What the hell, Dirty Dan? Are you bowling with that bird? What are you doing, you cocksucker? You fucking... And that's that goddamn warm chicken I was telling Jay to get rid of earlier. It's room temperature. It's bad. We gotta destroy it. Always refer to your handbook for a list of activities that would prompt a violation, such as playing sports with food, fiddling around, giving high fives, wrestling, also throwing pickles up on the ceiling and seeing which one falls first, as well as screaming out the word yeet several times, filming TikToks, playing hacky sack with the potatoes, testing the limits of the deep fryer using office supplies, and putting metals in the microwave just to name a few. What you got going on over here, Jay? Well, you know, I'm just uh, prepping all the food for tonight's shift. Uh, I'm sweating up a storm because uh, some know-it-all came in here and told us to make sure we're always wearing gloves. Sounds smart. Now this is something I like to see, folks. Everything's labeled correctly. Sugar bin looks good. Wait a minute, what the hell is it? Oh, 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 you got some trash in the sugar bin. A used styrofoam cup. Someone could have choked on that. Good job getting that out of there, Ron. You're employee of the month for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the dry storage now. It's pretty straightforward. I can already tell most of this stuff is expired and uh, it's just down here. Well, would you fucking look at that? A whole bag of sugar wide open. And come on in, rats and ants. We're open for business, apparently. And it looks like we got some kind of salsa up here that says Picante de Culo. Well, that's interesting. Never heard of that brand. You should always be weary of foreign sauces and spices that you may come across in the kitchen that are written in languages you don't understand. I always tell my new recruits, if you can't read it, then you probably shouldn't be putting it in your mouth. God damn, Jennifer. I like the way you're washing those hands, you dirty girl. Uh, thanks, Ron. <laughs> Here comes dumbass Dan making me proud. Oh my god, Dirty Dan, what's with all that blood? Whose blood is that, Dirty Dan? And that's the wrong fucking sink, you idiot. God damn it, you're making a mess. Do we need to call a doctor? In this line of work, you will come across a lot of blood, so consider this a professional courtesy. And although rare, you may come across other bodily fluids. If you cannot immediately identify a sauce as a ketchup or a mayonnaise, it's best to simply just destroy it. Hey, Jay, I don't know what the hell you think you're doing with that, but you can't take leftovers from the day and take them home. You didn't pay for it. Oh, but, uh, Sorry. I, I, you're going to have to throw that out. Okay, perfectly fine chili we are. I was going to bring Jose's family to the hospital. Yeah, and Jay, I noticed you got this bowl over here that seems to be filled with, I don't know what the hell it is. It looks like milk or something. It's god-awful. It needs to be thrown out. All right, let me see. That's still good. I'll eat it. 
A lot of people seem to think it's okay to eat food that's expired just because it looks good, smells good, and hey, it might even taste better. But unless you don't enjoy the thrill of diarrhea, I'd suggest not. Well, 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 there's something I thought I'd never see. Dirty Dan doing some cleaning. You know, I'm proud of you, Dan, for stepping up and doing some mopping and making the place look... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, God. Dirty Dan. What the hell, man? That's my Prius you just covered with all that shitty poop water. You're supposed to go dump the water out back away from the cars. You Take that mop right now, and you'll clean the shitter, you fucking cocksucking asshole. Ugh, Dirty Dan, god damn it, I was standing here listening the whole time. You stunk up this kitchen something fierce with those butt cheeks of yours clapping out turds. You're supposed to be in there cleaning. Now I gotta fucking go in here and inspect it. Oh god, it smells like someone took a shit inside of a raw chicken, and of course, look, he used all the toilet paper, left the water running, there's shit stains all over the place, and it looks like he hit a turd in the trash can. I'd love to stand here and point out more violations, but I just can't stand the smell. And uh, I'm afraid all this cooking wear here is way too close to the bathroom with all the poop droplets traveling through the air, we're gonna have to throw them out. There should never be any cooking ware stored within 20 feet of the bathroom at all times. All it takes is one dirty ass Dan to come on in there and blow his ass trumpet out so loud that all your cooking ware becomes contaminated. With all the poop droplets, piss droplets, cum droplets, God knows what's going on in that bathroom, you can transfer things like E. coli and other STDs to your customers. And although it may sound like common sense, I must reiterate at all times that masturbation and sexual relations inside the bathroom is strictly prohibited and would cause for violation. Well, it looks like I've completed my health inspection, so let's have a look at all the violations here. Your heat lamps have black mold. Several employees have told me they don't have thermometers, so they use their finger to check food temperatures. Your refrigerator is not cold enough, and all your pots and pans are covered in shit particles. Uh, this is definitely a failing test score, and by the looks of all these violations, uh, we're gonna get really well acquainted. I'm gonna have to keep on coming back here every week till we get it right. And there you have it, folks. That's a typical day in the life of being a health inspector, coming across all sorts of violations, and how to keep your cool and not lose your shit in the presence of a dirty goddamn Dan. And before we sign off, I would like to inform you of something very important. The employee, known as Dirty Dan, is actually a Daniel Castro, a wanted felon in the local area. Contact authorities if you see him. Once again, we appreciate you joining us today. I hope you have learned something that you might not have known before. Make sure you click that subscribe button, like and share this video, as well as watch the live Djibouti experience over at twitch.tv slash Djibouti Show. Thank you so much for watching.